Good morning, everyone. So I just wanted to show you Mama here. I don't know if you see that or not. Uh, it's kind of blurry. Hold on a minute. Hold on. Let me see if I can fix that. Can you see that right there? Mama has got four babies underneath her. Which she has had since yesterday. And they are so cute. Um, actually, kind of funny she uh, she didn't hatch any eggs she she kept because she was sharing the nesting boxes with they're very hens are very noisy this morning apparently they're laying starting to lay their eggs that's why um, because she was sharing a nesting box with all the rest of the hens she she kept, she kept coming off the hen, the eggs that I had marked for her. So I kept trying to keep, keep them switched so that way she'd be able to hatch them. But unfortunately, there was just too great of lengths of time. So I waited until approximately the time when she would actually hatch the eggs. Look at her fluff up, getting defensive. Uh -huh. She's being a good mama right now. Last night, though, she wasn't. When I first brought these babies home, she was not impressed. Well, I put them under her in the nesting box and she seemed to react okay towards them. A little bit defensive, but okay. And then I gave her about 10 or 15 minutes to see if she'd you know, get more comfortable with them. Once it seemed like she was more comfortable, I moved her in here. And when I moved her in here, she went into panic mode, leaving the babies to fend for themselves. So I had thought to myself, well that ain't gonna work. She's gonna she's gonna take possession essentially of these babies and take care of them. Otherwise I'm gonna have to take care of them, right? So I did I hooked up the heating panel right there because she wasn't seeming to do her job. And uh I don't know, a few several hours had passed and she was still just keeping her distance. See her fluffing up. She's being very protective. She's, right now, she's being a really good mama. Look at the baby there. Look at that. See that? <laughs> that is too cute. <laughs> That's too cute. Baby sticking her little head out. See? <laughs> That's so cute. So anyhow, I see how big these girls are getting. See blue blue hen there. I put blue blue my blue hen here in with in with these girls here, and she basically became their surrogate mom and was taking care of. Matter of fact, whenever I let them all in together, she was she was being protective over them and fighting these other hens. If the other hens would get too close to the to the to the wine dot hens, so and actually she's still she's still sticking right with them, and if any of them act aggressive towards the white hens, she'll she'll start fighting with them. So I thought to myself, well, she's really taking taking possession of those white hens. Maybe if I put her in here along with this hen, maybe that'll help. And so I did. And it only took about an hour, and this hen here decided she was gonna do her broody thing. She started becoming broody, she lay right over here, and then the babies were over there by the heater still. So I left after she seemed to be calming down. I tried to get a couple hens to go underneath her at that time, but they, she didn't want that, she was getting defensive. 
So I left her, I came back an hour later, hour and a half maybe, and I found that she had let two of the babies go underneath her. And there were still two over there by the heat panel. And I thought, well, that's good. That's good that she let them under there. But, you know, we got to take these other ones and get them in there too. So I just, I showed them the way how to get over here. And they came over and she let them come underneath. And she's been taking care of them ever since last night. And now, now she's very protective over them. Like, if I reach down there, watch her fluff up. See her fluff right up? As soon as I reach, watch. It's okay, mama. It's okay, mama. I ain't gonna hurt your babies. Look at look at the cute little things. See him come out now. She's been showing them how to eat this morning. It's just awesome. It's awesome to watch it happen. Here's the other one. Here's another one. There's a fourth one under there somewhere. Oh, oh. I see her feathers moving in the front. There's the fourth one. Right there. Oh, there comes a head. See her head poking out? That is too stinking cute. <laughs> That's too cute. <laughs> oh man, I'll tell you. It's it's quite the thing to watch. It really is. It really is. How how protective mama now now they're biting at her face. <laughs> Plus, that's normal behavior for, for baby chicks. They're all four of them are. That's normal behavior, at least in the tons of videos I've watched for baby chicks to peck at their mom's face and peck at the beak and all that. But look how protective she is. She's all, because I'm so close to her, she's all fluffed up right now. She pro she'd probably bite me if I stuck my hand too close, which is not a bad thing. Just means that she's protecting her young. Anyhow, I really wanted you guys to see this this morning. You hear the noises she's making? She's making she's making motherly noises, hen motherly noises, of course. Um, I've watched enough YouTube videos to see this process to know the 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 behaviors that they make and the sounds that they make when taking care of their young. I think she's going to be a very defensive mom. I think once I let her, once these hens, little uh, baby chicks are big enough, and I let them in with the rest of the hens, I think she's probably going to be one to chase away the other hens away from her babies. Um, just by her actions. And I'm sorry if the camera is blurry. I don't know why it's being blurry this morning. Probably a lot more clear for your perspective. As I'm looking through this literal one inch lens uh, screen here. Which it's really hard to see. Anyhow. I really just wanted to show you guys this this morning. Because I think it's an amazing thing. And uh. I'm enjoying watching the interactions, you know, and, and it, I know she's just tired as can be, because she spent the last few, you know, three weeks or so laying on eggs, and I've been trying to get her food, as much food and water as I can, but, you know, she hasn't eaten tons, so she's lost a little weight, but that, I think that's just the nature of it. Okay, this is just so cute. I don't know if you can hear those noises she's making. It's just so funny. It is so funny. Anyhow, I hope you all have a great day. God bless you. And I'll talk to you in the comments.